<laughs> Could you please introduce yourself? I'm Joe. I'm Al. From the group. Hot Chip. Hot Chip from uh, England, UK. Yes. Could you tell uh, our viewers a little bit of history of, about the band? The history of the band? Yes. Joe's well, a historian, so he'll be very good at this. I'm a history story. student. <laughs> it's a primary source. It was the year, it was the year 1990. One <laughs> and um, beginning of the 90s. Yeah, the early 90s, the era of grunge music and uh, and Britpop. Um, uh, no, nah, I went to school with um, Owen and Alexis from our band, who are sitting over there, and um, we went to school together and we we listened to a lot of music and went to a lot of gigs and we we're very good friends and we met each other and we liked each other and. Um, We started making music in around 1996 or 1997, um, playing acoustic guitars and singing our songs. And we sang covers by Pavement, Spaceman 3, uh, who else? Alabama 3. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone with three in their names, basically, is how we chose them. Um, yeah, and then, and then, you know, I got a computer and we started making music on my computer. And we've just kind of developed from, from that point until now. And then about four years ago, Al Doyle Hello. <laughs> and um, Felix Martin joined the group and we started to play live a lot more and, and yeah, that's kind of, you know, what we're doing at the moment. All of a sudden uh, the press picked you up, like a couple of albums and then of course the new one. Um, yeah. how, how did it all go from the first, from, from, from the beginning till now? Mm. Album wise, well, like singles and stuff in the um, chart. Well, I mean, with the, with the first album, there was um, a single that preceded that, was, which was Down with Prince, um, which was like, I suppose, like a song that um, generated a little bit of um, kind of coverage, and a lot of people had an interest in that song. As sort of, um, it was quite a one-off song, and they were, you know, it's sort of quite self-contained. And I think there was some arguments that it didn't really belong, particularly on the album. You know, it could have sort of stood by itself, but. In the end, it was um, on coming on strong, and um, and then there was a yeah, that was it really, pretty much for that album, and, um, and you know that was on a very small label in the UK, a label called Moshi Moshi, um, who was um, run by like two or three really nice guys that you know have become friends of ours, and we still see quite a lot. Um, but you know they didn't have the money to kind of like really presses and kind of you know you have the power to bring it out everywhere yeah I mean it was, it was an indie label and we were pretty much the biggest band on the label by the time we'd, we'd finished there and, and um, you know we were still working full time jobs and we were finding it very difficult to kind of like do all the gigs that we had to do and like keep down our full time jobs I know that Joe had was working at a record label and like had run out of holiday hadn't you and like mm. <laughs> if if he'd have like gone on one more gig he would have just lost his job kind of yeah. thing so <laughs> so you cancelled that one No, I just quit. <laughs> <laughs> and now the third single's already out. Uh, Colors gonna be. Yeah. What's the song about? It's not out quite yet. It's not, yeah, it's gonna be out in a couple of weeks. Um, it's about. It's a very very simple song really. It's about, you know, Alexis, who's the kind of main singer in the group. He wrote it, and um, it's about his love of color, you know, in life, and uh, you know, you know, beautiful colors in record sleeves and in clothing and t-shirts and. You know, just in everything you see around you. So it's a good song for the summer, you know. Exactly. That's why <clears throat> also your um, front cover of the record is also a bit colorish. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we, you know, we love kind of vivid color and and also kind of this childlike thing of you know bright colors and and you know the image on the cover is like these kind of uh, wooden blocks that you get when you're a child, kind of split with yeah. like pieces of plastic jammed into them to create these weird sculptures. So and that's something that Owen in our group actually made, you know. He's a kind of artist and he, he did that artwork, so you know, that's something that we like a lot. Hey, what can we expect from tonight, the show? Well, um, if it's a good show... <laughs> Paradiso, come on, Paradiso is the biggest oh. and the best hall. No, no, I mean, I meant from us, like, not, not the venue, like, I know Paradiso. No, but when you're in a new band playing in this venue, you have to play good. Well, we played there last year, we played, oh, okay. um, yeah, like a, one of the small room upstairs. And, is it Lonna uh, Calling or something? It was five days off it actually. It was five days five off. Days yeah, off. we did five days off last year. And also, we played in Paradiso supporting Soul Wax a couple of oh, years yeah, ago. Right. Okay. Yeah, so and uh, you know, it's a great venue. You know, and the, the people connected with us, like our sound guy Ilias, he says it's his favorite venue in the world. Um, you know, so it's a, we know that it's a nice place. And and last summer for five days off, the gig was really great. 
the, fa the fans really, really loved it, and it was a really good time for us. So hopefully this year will be as good. Like, no, it just depends if we're up to it or not, you know. Yeah, exactly. But, um, Don't drink and smoke too much. Then, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, just the right amount. We're gonna drink and smoke yeah. the right amount. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Good. Okay, no problem. Thank no, you very all, much. Thank you.